the Earth is alive, and this causes volcanic eruptions to occur from time to time. Volcanic ash falls on the land, completely covering it. The destructive force of pyroclastic flow and mud flow running down the volcano endangers the lives of residents at the foot of the volcano, thus causing serious damage to social and economic activities. Once a volcano becomes active, no one can stop the forces of nature. Depending on the scale of the eruption and other factors, evacuation may be prolonged. However, a volcanic eruption does not solely involve destruction over a long range of time. Its dynamic activities using the Earth's energy produce magnificent, beautiful landscapes and hot springs, thus helping to heal our minds and bodies. Volcanic ash enriches the soil and therefore produces useful, fertile land. In other words, volcanic eruptions can be referred to as a phenomenon of creation. The duration of an eruption is generally shorter than the destructive period, so we can enjoy the blessings and calm appearance of volcanoes. To lessen the impact of disasters that strike us from time to time, it is necessary for each of us to accurately understand the possible activities of volcanoes such as Usu and the potential disasters they can cause. To minimize damages and prevent disasters in future, we should understand and accept the reality of this active volcano and examine ways to coexist alongside it. A significant pyroclastic flow occurred approximately 100,000 years ago, producing the present caldera lake. The Nakajima Islands in the center of the lake are lava domes produced by repeated eruptions some 40,000 years ago. The Usu volcano's eruptions began some 20,000 years ago. The Usu volcano has repeatedly erupted to become a stratovolcano with a shape similar to that of Mount Fuji. Its summit collapsed as a result of an eruption approximately 7 to 8,000 years ago. An extensive collapse caused a debris avalanche burying the southern foot of the volcano under debris and producing special topography called Hamaki Hills on its surface. The debris avalanche entered the ocean and enlarged the land, including the complicated coastal topography and reefs of Usu Bay. After its collapse, the Usu volcano became dormant for several thousands of years. After its long sleep, the mountain awakened and erupted in 1633. The scale of that eruption was great enough to cause its ejecta to pass over Mount Hidaka and fall onto the Tokachi Plain. Following this eruption, the Usu volcano became intermittently active, erupting nine times in total by 2000. The Kousu Lava Dome was formed by the Great Eruption in 1663. It erupted again at the end of the 17th century and again in 1769, producing pyroclastic flow. At the time of the 1822 eruption, the pyroclastic flow raced downward to the Abudu community on the southwestern coast, causing 103 deaths and a large number of injuries. The 1853 eruption also resulted in pyroclastic flow, forming the Ousu Lava Dome. Old sketches of the Usu volcano tell us the former state of this volcano. Kompirayama, near the northwestern foot, erupted in 1910. At that time, a group of 45 craters of all different sizes were formed from there on the northern flanks. 
rock ejecta, volcanic ash, and hot lahar spewed from the craters. At that time, the intruding magma heated underground water, prompting hot springs to gush out. This area rose 155 meters, forming Meiji Shinzan. Earthquakes became frequent starting around the end of 1943, and the ground at the eastern foot of the volcano began to rise. The Usu volcano erupted in June of the following year on farmland in the Fukaba district. The uplifted ground turned into Yanayama, through which a lava dome extruded. This lava dome continued to grow, resulting in the formation of Showa Shinzan, whose peak is 407 meters above sea level. This process was recorded precisely by Masao Mimatsu, the postmaster of Sobetsu Post Office, and was named the Mimatsu Diagram. In August 1977, an extensive pumice eruption occurred at the summit. At that time, volcanic ash fell over an extensive area, causing significant damage to agricultural products and forests. Also at the foot of the volcano, Crustal deformation and secondary mud flow caused disasters. This eruption resulted in the upheaval of the existing Ogariyama, leading to the formation of Usu Shinzan. On March 31st, 2000, an eruption occurred at the foot of Nishiyama on the northwestern flank of the Usu volcano, opening new craters one after another and causing pyroclastic surge. Then, on April 1st, Kompiriyama on the Lake Toya side also erupted. Although this eruption was small in scale, it caused significant damage to the nearby hot spring resort by discharging rock ejecta, volcanic ash, and hot lahar. At the western foot of Nishiyama, the crustal deformation was particularly severe. The ground rose by several tens of meters and experienced numerous faults. The enormous scars resulting from this eruption are still visible in the area. The Usu volcano has significantly changed in appearance after each eruption to form its present shape. Volcanic eruptions provide proof that the Earth is alive. There are more than 1,500 active volcanoes in the world. Japan is a country of volcanoes, having 108 active volcanoes. What types of disasters will volcanic activity inflict on the residents at the foot of the volcano, whose lives are inseparable from volcanoes? Let's take a look at the possible disasters expected to occur in the future for the active Usu volcano. When a volcano erupts, it blasts ash into the air with tremendous force. In the 1977 eruption, an eruption column rose into the air to a height of 12,000 meters above the mountain about one hour after the eruption. It was carried by the winds to Mount Hidaka and also as far as the Sea of Ohotsk. The area covered by volcanic ash depends on the direction and strength of the wind. The volcanic ash falls on the ground, forming a thick blanket of ash over the land. 
When a large amount of ash accumulates on a roof, it may destroy the house. Ashfall causes tree leaves and branches to wither, sometimes causing serious damage to entire forests. The ash falling on farms damages agricultural products and renders farmland unusable for many months. Intense ash falls can even turn day into night. It is difficult to drive when volcanic ash is falling. The effects of ash fall remain for a long period of time significantly damaging and threatening people's lives. The roof of this building has numerous holes, the work of rock ejecta shot out from the crater at the time of the eruption. During an eruption, ejecta spews out through rocks on the surface of the earth, and the crushed rocks fall over an extensive area as rock ejecta. The distance these rocks can travel differs by the scale of the eruption. Sometimes, large rocks with a diameter of one meter or more may be carried as far as several kilometers away. If an eruption occurs at the foot of the volcano, it will result in not only the destruction of residences, but also the endangerment of people inside due to the proximity of private homes. On Unzen Fugendake, pyroclastic flow began to occur repeatedly in May 1991. Pyroclastic flow is a phenomenon in which high temperature volcanic ash rocks and gas gush from the crater and run down the slope at surprising speed. Pyroclastic flow with a temperature of 500 to 600 degrees Celsius overflows from the crater and runs down the mountain at more than 100 kilometers per hour, quickly heating the air around it. In the eruption of Unzen Fugendake, pyroclastic flow raced down the mountainside along valleys and rivers. The flow ran unexpectedly far, as far as the foot of the volcano, hitting private houses and farms there. Pyroclastic flow burns, destroys, and buries everything in its path. When Unzen Fugendake erupted in 1991, 43 people died as a result of the pyroclastic flow. Among pyroclastic flow, high temperature sandstorms that contain volcanic ash and gas and that are thus more fluid than normal pyroclastic flow are referred to as pyroclastic surge. Pyroclastic surge is the volcanic blast that spreads sideways from the foot of the eruption column. Disasters caused by pyroclastic flow or surge have occurred several times on the Usu volcano. In the case of the Usu volcano, Pyroclastic flow occurs directly from the craters and spreads out in all directions. Pyroclastic surge reaches even farther, thus causing greater damage to an extensive area. Mud flow is also very dangerous. The Usu volcano has also caused mud flow damage in the past. When it erupted in 2000, hot lahar ran down directly from the craters, washing away two bridges and destroying buildings. Mud flow passed through the flow channel, finally reaching Lake Toya. Mud flow is more powerful than we may imagine. The Konomi Bridge on National Route 230 
was carried as far as 150 meters downstream by the hot mud flow. When the Usu volcano erupted in 1977, mud flow occurred several times immediately after the eruption during heavy rain. In October 1978, rain immediately washed away the accumulated volcanic ash downward to the hot spring resort, causing three people to be declared dead or missing. Crustal deformation is another characteristic activity of the Usu volcano. When the western foot of Nishiyama erupted in 2000, the ground rose by as much as 80 meters, creating numerous faults throughout this area. Factories and residences collapsed, and the appearance of the land completely changed. During the 1977 eruption, intruding magma lifted the ground and generated faults. This caused a shift in the road and the destruction of buildings. In the case of this road, the faults cut Route 230 and generated a shift equivalent to one lane. Railroads have also been damaged several times. Crustal deformation has also occurred from time to time in past eruptions. In Abuta's Izumi district, magma continued to rise during the eruption. It pushed up the surface of the earth and stretched the ground thus generating step faults and forming graben in which the center of the elevated ground was relatively sunken. The eruption activity generated enormous energy, mercilessly deforming National Route 230 in a staircase pattern. The Usu volcano experienced sector collapse some seven or 8,000 years ago as the result of an eruption, causing an extensive debris avalanche. If Ousu on the summit crater collapses toward Lake Toya, the resulting avalanche will flow into Lake Toya. Or, if an eruption occurs on the shores or in the lake, the entire lakeshore area may be hit by a tsunami. When volcanic activities are explosive, shockwaves occur in the crater and are transmitted through the air. These are called acoustic shocks. In the case of the Usu volcano, acoustic activity continued even after the eruption subsided. This activity arose fearful memories of earthquakes and the following explosions. Compared with other volcanoes around the world, the Usu volcano is distinctive in that its magma is highly viscous dacite, which cannot descend as lava flow. A lava dome is formed instead. Kousu, Ousu, and Showa Shinzan were formed in this manner. Cryptodomes are formed when intruding lava lifts the ground surface but does not become exposed to the surface. Examples of these domes include Meiji Shinzan, Usu Shinzan, and the uplifted area at the western foot of Nishiyama. The rise of high viscosity magma has generated lava domes and cryptodomes one after another at the summit and foot of the Usu volcano in recent years. Usu 
とガスが高まると爆発的になるでもう一つは地下水が豊富であったり投薬がありますので水と接触して大規模な水蒸気爆発マグマ水蒸気爆発こういうことが起こるこれが臼山の大変危険な噴火の特徴ということになります。普通火山は山頂に火口があってそこから繰り返して噴火するから噴火する場所分かってると思うわけですところが臼山の場合は山頂の他に麓の北側とか東側とか西側でもう噴火しますので噴火する場所はどこか分からない今まで、えー、あの何ともなかったところに突然火口ができて噴火し始めるとそこで噴火続けるかと思うと実はもう次の日にはかなり離れた2キロ1キロと離れたところでまた新しい火口を作ったりします。でそのためにあの一旦噴火が始まっても噴火がどういうふうに進んでいくかこれを見極めることは大変難しいんですが大変大事なことになります。薄山はその大変爆発しやすいという面を持っておりますがもう一方ですねこれは2 3 0年ごとに繰り返して噴火するというこういう性質を持っておりますしそれからもう一つあの地下のマグマが圧力をためてですねで高まってきてもう出たいよという時に火山性地震をたくさん起こして。えー、地面を割れたり断層を起こしたりする地殻変動を起こすとこういうことで知らせてくれるこういう特徴を同時に持ってるわけですでこれは大変我々にとって役に立つあの情報になりますでこういうその断層あるいは火山性地震がたくさん起こるこういうことは2000年噴火でも起こったわけですね。On the evening of March 27th, 2000, Volcanic earthquakes become frequent. A total of 107 earthquakes are recorded on that day alone. At 12 50 a.m. on the following day, the Muran Local Meteorological Observatory issues the first official notice informing residents in the area of the sudden increase in the number of volcanic earthquakes. Tensions rise in the area around the Usu volcano as preparations toward the eruption progress. The Hokkaido government then establishes the Disaster Countermeasures Liaison Office. At 11 a.m., Professor Hiromu Okada of the Usu Volcano Observatory holds a press conference warning that precursory phenomena have been observed. Voluntary evacuation starts in some communities in Date, Abuta, and Sobetsu. A total of 3,965 volcanic earthquakes are recorded on March 29th. Earthquakes with a seismic intensity of three or more become frequent. Volcanic Alert No. 1 is issued warning that it has become highly likely that the Usu volcano will erupt within a few days. It is the first time to issue such an alert before an actual eruption in Japan. On this day, evacuation instructions are issued for each hazardous area. In the evening, an earthquake with a seismic intensity of four is observed in Date, and another with a seismic intensity of slightly less than five in Sobetsu. The Earthquake and Volcanic Disaster Prevention Subcommittee of the Hokkaido Disaster Prevention Council holds a press conference. In response to this alert, evacuation instructions are issued, and 9,500 people are evacuated that day. National highways and prefectural roads are closed to traffic. Japan Railways also halts train operation. Volcanic earthquakes become more frequent on March 30th. Of the many earthquakes that occur on this day, 956 are noticeable earthquakes. The range of the hazardous areas is expanded and residents continue evacuation activities under the threat of imminent eruption. The formation of new faults is confirmed at the summit of the Usu volcano that day, and cracks are found on National Route 230 on the following day, March 31st. At 1 07 p.m. on March 31st, 2000, smoke spews from the western foot of Nishiyama. This is the beginning of the eruption. This sudden eruption throws Abuta into commotion.
On April 1st, the following day, a new eruption occurs at the foot of Kompirayama, which is close to the Toyako Hot Spring Resort. The surrounding area is hit by various disasters. で、その危険ですね。その危険の直撃を避けるということが一番大事になります。で、そのためには2つのことが大事です。で、1つはその観測や研究によって予知、え、何が起こるか、これから何が起こりそうかということを知ることです。で、もう1つはあの、そこに住